and pearl if you haven't heard me talk about her herbs before for aligning uh, for planning trajectory um this is what herbs look like it's a software that we built on python uh i've attached the link to the github uh page where you can download clone or pip install herbs from there are some uh, instructions and a very extensive cookbook um, that's been updated every couple of months. So you can take a look at that there. So Herbs was originally built uh, to support 2D histology for rats, and it is now also um, adaptable for mice and other uh, atlas um, atlases that's existing. If you want to add your own atlas, there is a tutorial on our GitHub page that goes through uh, atlases uh, about, um, about how the Bregma points are picked, what's, what are the axes, and how a different transformation happens. There's also um, a little document about how you can upload your own atlas slice if you have one. And okay, so with that, uh, let's go into uh, the demo mode. So you've loaded your, um, sorry, it doesn't work. Okay, that's strange. Um, let me start it again. Right on. Um, you load your atlas and your slice. Uh, the slices can be selected with multiple different um, file formats. And um, suppose you have um, a probe that's been uh, inserted parallel to the AP, uh, which is in the sagittal section. So you would probably see if it's uh, sectioned in such a way, you, um, you would probably see point by point um, uh, probe marks. So what you would do is you would take the first uh, slice that you would uh, see uh, the tip of the probe and you would take the last slice. So, I mean, you can also add multiple slices if you want. And you, if you have uh, different slices per slide, you could also load all these slice scenes here. So once you've loaded your histology, and your atlas, uh, you use this slider here to go to the desired, um, that is closest uh, to the uh, histology that you have selected. Then you use this triangulation method, pick a color and start drawing points uh, around the boundaries and um, anchor points in between, both on the, hist uh, on the atlas and the histology. And once you've done that, make sure that you anchor the points in such a way that it's equal. And then you can use this little eye button to see if the tri So basically what we do is we have these triangulations and you try to estimate if the triangulations on the atlas and the histology uh, matches correctly. It's unfortunately not automated yet. We are still working on that. Um, and hopefully uh, at some point we will release another version of herbs that has an automated version to uh, slice matching, but it's where we, we, we're still uh, doing it. <laughs> and then you, you, you use this accept um, button, and then you can see that once you've accepted, the slice that's been uh, loaded as a histology gets warped onto the atlas. And you can see here as Atlas overlay. If you uh, are satisfied with your artwork on creating the triangulations, um, you can accept um, uh, the trans uh, the overlay. And then this is um, going a bit too fast. And once you've done that, 
you can go on to click the pro button and click on um so um sorry right um so once that uh, happens once you click the point you go over to the object view controller uh click on the cross and uh, um, register your probe there and you do not merge all the probe points because since you have it in a uh, sagittal section that means different slices have different probe points so you need to upload uh, your histology slice again and once you do that you repeat the process of uh, selecting the nearest looking uh, atlas slice and you can read about uh, the microns or how we choose the pragma points on the GitHub page that has uh, tutorials written on it and uh, the folder that's named uh, Atlas related uh, tutorials and then move the uh, points. You can also delete the points if you don't want, but if you de de delete the points on the Atlas, make sure to delete also the points on the histology since it has to match. And then you do the same thing. Once you've done that, you go on to uh, click on the probe, um, click the um, uh, section there, the little white dot that you can see. Once you do that, you add the probe piece and you add the core piece and this time you merge it together because you want to visualize what you are extrapolating from these two points. So once you do that, you have this readout of the merge probe across uh, different slices. I've just, for the sake of time, chosen two different uh, slices. One is the entry point and one is the last uh, slice at the exit point um, at the top of the brain. And you can see, that the probe has traversed through uh, motor cortex and uh, primary sensory uh, area. And you can also visualize this in 3D. And this gives you a picture of where your NeuroPixel probe has been inserted um, in 3D space. This is uh, an example for the rat brain. Uh, I also have an example for a mouse brain, but not just for um, probe, but also for, suppose you are looking at virus uh, projections, you can use this um, uh, where you can also move um, if the probe is not completely um, the the size of the probe is not the thickness of the pro, uh, the histology is not uh, clean. You can use this um, move button to also fix the atlas so it matches your histology well. And then you can use the counterclockwise uh, or clockwise to uh, see uh, and match which. Um, axis um, uh, is closer to the atlas that you are using. And I'm going to repeat the same process where you're matching. And this time, instead of the probe, you will look at, um, you will take the um, lasso uh, button and you will draw around uh, the various projections that you're seeing and um, you will see that. So this is done also for prisms. Uh, this is uh, the these are data sets that we collected from the Kavli Institute, where people have also implanted uh, prisms and uh, they have reconstructed that using herbs. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them on the Slack channel. Um, yeah, thank you so much.